All right, it's time to make bread again. I'm gonna do a rake of small loaf. I think the last one came out, as far as flavor goes, came out pretty good, so let's do, I do uh, 500 grams of flour, so I'm gonna do 200 of all-purpose white unbleached, and then the balance is gonna be wheat. It's a, more, a little more heavy wheat, I found the, everything just sort of plays better together when it's uh, totally, when it's more wheat. I did all wheat, and then that's a little too much, and then more white, and then that's not enough, so. This, this balance, for me, works pretty well, so. And it makes one loaf that, for the most part, I can eat in about, uh, what, about six days or so? Because, like, right around seven to eight days, um, regardless of how I kept it, it'll start getting moldy. And if you didn't know moldy bread, you probably shouldn't eat. Let's mix it up just a little bit before I put my water in. This is the auto lease section, so I'm just going to add flour and water together with my, my flour mixture and water. So, uh, you just, I forget why. Uh, it's to let the, <laughs> you, you get into ritual and you forget why you do it, but uh, this is just to um, combine these two ingredients and then we add the starter together. This, I usually let it sit for an hour, but you, uh, I've let it sit for up to two hours before, just because, you know, other things are going on I need to attend to, so it doesn't really, this can sit for a little bit longer or sit for a little bit less. The a thing that I've noticed that helps a lot. Uh, today's weather is is uh, we're in the, the summer pattern in Houston, so it's going to be hot and humid today. So I'm not sure how much that's going to affect. But I warm this water temperature up to around a hundred, hundred ten. So I'm going to add almost all of it and then see how it goes. Having this water warm helps a lot, especially since um, I'm going to be uh, letting, after I get all this combined, I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour. That's gonna keep it warm so it doesn't get too, too cool in here. Cause like I said earlier, it's hot outside, so I have the AC on in here. I'm not gonna change out. I'm not gonna not turn the AC on in Houston when it's hot like this. I'm just gonna get it all over my shirt and everywhere. Um, so, this hot water will cool significantly in an hour, get to room temperature, and I don't, um, it'll keep it a little bit warmer than uh, room temperature actually, because this, this water is rather hot. It's almost, almost uncomfortable to put my hand in, but really warm. So, keeping it warm is the name of the game, especially is ready. It's holding together really well. So that's all you need. It's probably about six minutes of work. So, just take it, cover it, let it sit in the bowl for about an hour or so, and then we'll start on integrating our salt and a starter. Starter may have shrunk a little bit, but I only fed it. Uh, I fed it about eight hours ago. Um, has a good odor to it. Starter out. Otherwise, it was just just glue. It's glue. Right, so. together. I feel pretty nice about it. I feel pretty good, not nice. I feel nice, <laughs> but I also feel good about how it's come together. Now, back in the bowl. It's still a bit sticky, but 
It's in a greased bowl, so it's not, not much is gonna stick there. So, let it rest. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. Let it rest for an hour, and then we'll start on our folds. It's relaxed. It's relaxed, it's been about an hour. Let's see what we can do here. really wet and kind of just all over the place and then after these folds it really starts to hold together a lot better it's already look how tight it is now it doesn't want to move as much so it's definitely window painting a lot better now it's still ripping Okay, it's holding together nice, it's looking good. So let it rest for an hour and then we'll two more. We let it rest for an hour and then do it again, then let it rest for an hour and do it again. We have to do this two more times is what I meant. It's been another hour letting it relax. It looks okay. It's a nice long stretch in it. Feeling air bubbles in it, so that's a good sign. There's an air bubble right there that I made, but it's still. I'm feeling little air bubbles in it, so it is getting that nice fermentation action going. So I think we're in good shape. It's a lot less uh, watery and gooey and sticky, even. It's still a little bit sticky, but not much than it was uh, a couple hours ago, so. It's coming together. I think the consistency might be right. The The big thing is just making sure that we'll uh, get a good proof on it. But second fold done, wait an hour, and then do the last fold. All right, third and final fold. Feeling a lot of bubbles in the, in the dough now, which is good. Looks good, feels good, it's finally come together. It, uh, that first fold still seemed kind of iffy, but after the third one, it feels pretty good. Let it sit for an hour, and then we'll work on shaping and getting it in the, getting it in here, and then um, uh, proof. So I already have the proofing oven, I'm getting it started, so it uh, won't be long. So now, now is the time we shape it and should should be okay. It's got we'll put some air in it now, which is good. So get it nice and spread out. Let's just do the corners in. I didn't put any flour, so there's uh, resistance. So I'm building tension in here or it should be at least. 
Zoe agrees. She gave me a little bark. Look at that. It's nice and smooth. So I'll take my pants and dump it in there upside down. And there we go. It has been about two hours and like 15 minutes or so. It got nice and plump. I press it in. It slowly builds back up, so we're nice and relaxed. We're proofed, I believe. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we'll be back tomorrow morning to bake. Okay, I'll uh, set a timer for 20 minutes and we'll see what comes out on the other side. It's pretty good looking. Better rise, good fermentation to those bubbles. So. Looks good. It smells really good, so nothing else. The flavor should be okay. So that's it. Uh, it is 9:35 in the morning. So I'm just gonna let it sit for at least half a day. Let it get all the way to room temperature, all the way inside, and then we'll cut it open and see what we got. I got my bread here. I'm cutting it at the, the next morning. I'm gonna make some toast. <laughs> Really nice looking crumb. It's it's nice and even. It grew pretty nicely. It's a decent size. It'll make a good um, sandwich or piece of toast in my case. So uh, yeah, looks good. Smells good. Nice flavor, nice deep flavor. Good, nice airy crumb. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have my toast now.